Welcome back guys. Today I'm taking a look at a ship with White Ninja IAS. He's going to show me his uh, new ship. I think he said it was a science vessel, but as you can see here he's got uh, quite a cool little uh, shuttle lander. Uh, I'm going to leave the surfboard here in a second, so I'm just going to give it a quick whip around so you can see what we're dealing with here. As you can see, it is a really nice, con nicely constructed vessel with lots of little details on. We'll get into that. And now, let's take a look around the inside. So, we're in. <laughs> Uh, this is his shuttle, so I'm just going to take a quick look at the shuttle. And as you can see, it's quite a compact little ship. But it's uh, got all the detail where it counts, which is really cool. Interesting. Real nice, compact design. It's got a little... <laughs> I like it. It's very compact, yet has a lot of detail at the same time and I bet that's wicked to fly as well it looks like a lot of fun so we're getting following uh, white ninja now I need to make him a white ninja skin mm. Mm. oh we won't go that way yet let's keep following him oh, okay oh. oh very nice Okay, let's see if he's typing. The core room. This is the core room. Nice, okay, so this is the core room of his ship. So we've got various corridors. Got nice. It's sort of like some kind of atomic swirl going on here. It's sort of like, he's used obviously lava and crystal, but I think I can see what he's gone for. It's sort of like an intertwined energy spiral thingy. So it's like there's, you know, that's a, there is a core, you know, like there, which is cool. I like that. That's really cool. It's really nice. So what do we got back here? Weapons, weapons, a few viewports, on each side. Right. Lead the way, bro. just airlocks and they are proper airlocks as well yep airlocks okay so what do we got here more windows coming through got a big hall lots of windows thrusters so I guess we're at the back of the ship now thrusters power tanks some shield blocks, I guess that maybe it goes, does the shield go that way? No, nope. that just looks cool. <laughs> it's an interesting uh, power design he's got going on. But he's sort of integrated it into the look of the ship, which I like, I really like. Where is where's he gone? Oh, there he, there he, there he is. Right, where's he going? I like how he's managed to make all these rooms and when you look out of them you get a really cool view. It's nice. Or you just get deep space, which is fine. Oh look, he's got like a guide rail or something in there. A uh, bit of a bulkhead. Oh, okay, what's this? It's one of his main computers. Cool. Let's see when it goes up, up, up. And then what is this? A look at Ah, he did actually say some of that was going to be living quarters. So command up here. Nice. 
and that's pretty much the inside so I'm just going to go back out and uh, continue having a look around the outside I really like this core design though, it's got to be said oh hang on, he didn't show me this Oh, it's, wa uh, it's water. Ah, oh, there's one on the other side, but it's still empty, he's saying. So what's this? It's cool, I've made the lettering. So this is the, I believe that's the name of the ship, A926 Mercator, A926, <laughs> nice, I like that style, that style of lettering there. Now where did I put my surfboard? Okay, so I'm just going to take a few, uh, look, just have a look around the ship. I've got the builder on the back of the board here, so that's pretty awesome. Let's have a little look around. I like the detail that's been gone into all these different wedges and different alignments of wedges. It's really nice. It's not, you know, you don't often see this, and also it's not, it's not totally symmetrical if you have a look. There's a lot of detail here which is uh, like I say, unique to that part of the ship and I especially like the way he's used all the wedges together with the combination of grey, white, black that really works and like I say, the placement of glass here is being used very, it's like really inventive to see glass used like that that's my opinion anyway and you've got all these crystals coming out creating cool lighting and also the shadows as well where you can see the shields poking out uh, again, I already looked at the lettering there. The lettering is really, that's really clever. I'm going to have to have a play around with that. I like how he hasn't just gone for one wedge. It's like there's, there's layers of glass with all different bits and aerials hanging off here and there. He's even done a little bit to the underside as well, which is awesome. Um, lava coming through there. The uh, the, the dock, docks are quite simple, which is nice. The uh, docking doors, but they look real cool. I like this, it's very simple. You've got these four black rods ending in a wedge. That's very cool, that's very inventive. Um, let's just uh, go back. Right, and have another look at the top here, because we've got what well, looks like a turret yeah it's a turret and oh an alternating crystal design down here and again use of wedges really inventive use of wedges the airlocks actually make sense for their positioning where they are and now uh, that's cool as well if you see those four black things by the board right now that's awesome So we're just going to have another quick look in the uh, first person view. So we're going to have a little closer look in a more traditional viewpoint now. And uh, as you can see, use of wedges, real nice use of wedges. The weapons are perfectly concealed. Oh wait, they're salvage beams. That's right, it's a science vessel. I bet it does have some weapons somewhere. I've seen at least one turret. <laughs> Uh, I like that little antenna mast. There's a docking. Yes, yeah, so there's a turret could go there. Really nice control tower. Uh, another turret on the back. Right, let's do a couple of passes with him. Really nice ship. Cheers for coming along and showing it to me, man. I uh, really enjoyed taking a look at that. Please show me more of your ships. <laughs> Don't know. Maybe he's in the weapons computer. Either way, 
It's a real nice ship. I'm going to take another pass through over the top. No joke, it's pretty. It is pretty. It looks like a proper ship. A proper spaceship. I like it. Scale it up and he's this guy's got a winner. Because that's really nice. It's beautiful. So much detail going on there. Beautiful. I really like the uh, flat, this, these sort of flat wings that are coming out, but then it's all, he's got all these different use of, uh, it's beautiful. He's definitely got a style. This ship definitely has style, so I'm looking forward to see more of this guy's ships because they're really beautiful. And look at it, it's only small. He's obviously been playing around for a while because He's figured out how all these blocks go together in a real nice way. Beautiful. So that's uh, episode one of Show Me Your Ships. All you got to do is join the server. Server address is on the screen now. And uh, to get whitelisted, all you have to do is contact me. So that means message me, preferably at mushroomfleet.co.uk. But you could use YouTube. It's just that I'm more likely to actually respond if you go to the website. So, there you go. Beautiful ship. A926 uh, Mercator by White Ninja. He says he's still got to work on power generation and uh, a couple of interior bits, but those are minor details. He's got plenty of room in there to play around with. So uh, from me, I just want to thank White Ninja again for coming along and showing me his ships, or showing me his ship so far, and his little shuttle. Uh, and I'd invite others to do the same. So what we've got here is a piece of ballistics gel with enough thrusters so that it can turn, but not enough that it can actually Whoa, not enough that it can actually move. Whoa. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's time to do the uh, ballistics test for his ship. So uh, here we are at Mushroom Fleet HQ. And I've got White Ninja here showing me his vessel. And so we've got the ballistics gel in place. I'm just going to make sure he's got a clear shot. There it went. Boom, boom, boom. Let's have a look. Interesting. Ah, I see. So this is uh, actually a really high rate of fire. So he's not got quite as much damage on the volley, but the rate of fire is good. I'm going to ask him to give me. To, I'm just going to ask him to hold it down. Very nice, that's more like it. And as you can see, this is a very fast rate of fire, and that will just continue to just cut through. There's a lot to be said about that, because uh, the efficiency means that you'll get through uh, just as easily as if you had, like, Hailstorm is quite inefficient, because it wastes a lot of the uh, bullets on getting in. And on a small ship, that's fine, but on a big ship, that could be a problem, because it means you need to hit a lot of times to cut through to the core. Whereas with this sort of setup, it'll just penetrate, and I'm working on something similar myself go for the best penetration okay go on shoot the core man shoot the core you can do it you're nearly at the core <laughs> it's a really clean uh, penetration pattern as well on his weapon there we go core overheat well done nice 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 so we'll save this and take a little look so quite a strong, uh, quite a strong pattern there. A very clean, straight line. It's like a like a like a drill or a cutting laser, and that's gone straight through to the core. Very little wasted energy in terms of getting there. A slight diagonal to it, but that can be a good thing. Uh, 
very nice. So that was White Ninja's ship. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.